Module 4, Lesson 8, Replacing Numbers with Letters. Learning Targets. I can understand that a letter in an expression or an equation can represent a number, and I can understand that when a number is replaced with a letter, an expression or an equation is stated. We are going to start by looking at five different expressions. 4 plus 0 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. 4 divided by 1 equals 4. 4 times 0 equals 0. And 1 divided by 4 equals 1 fourth. So how many of these statements are true? So how many of the expressions are true? All of these expressions are true. Second question, how many of those statements would be true if the number four was replaced with the number seven in each of the number sentences? So would these number sentences still be true if instead of the number four, we were using the number seven? So with using the number seven, how many of these expressions are true? All of them are still true. So it does not matter if we used number four or number seven, all of the expressions are still true. What if we replace the number four with the number zero? Would each of the number sentences be true? So now instead of four, we're going to use zero. So with using zero, are all of the expressions true or are some of the expressions true? With using the number zero instead of four, some of the expressions are going to be true. And here is why. Dividing zero by a number is not possible. So this last expression, 1 divided by 4 equals 1 fourth, if we replace 4 with 0, we would have 1 divided by 0 equals 1 over 0. And this is not possible. So you cannot replace this last expression with the number 0. Now, what if we replace the number 4 with a letter G. So let's replace all the fours in our expressions with the letter G. So now our expressions read G plus zero equals G. G times one equals G. G divided by one equals G. G times zero equals zero. And one divided by G equals one over G. Are all of our new Statements true except for when g is equal to zero when dividing? Yes, all of these are expressions are true except for when g equals zero when dividing. Now let's look at the additive property of zero. We are going to be using the expression g plus zero equals g. Remember, a letter in a mathematical expression represents a number. Can we replace G with any number? Yes, we can replace G with any number. Now we're going to choose a value for G and replace G with that number in our equation. What do we observe when we do this? So I've chosen the number 3. So now g is going to equal 3. So we're going to switch out g for 3. So our equation is going to read 3 plus 0 equals 3. And what do we observe when we do this? The value of g does not change when added to 0. So now let's replace g with the following numbers. 6, 10, and 7. So now our equations read 6 plus 0 equals 6, 10 plus 0 equals 10, 
and 7 plus 0 equals 7. Will all values of g result in a true number sentence? Yes, we can replace g with any number and the number sentence will stay true. So g plus 0 equals g shows the additive property of 0, which says that any number added to 0 equals itself. Now let's talk about the multiplicative identity property of 1. So we're going to be using the equation g times 1 equals g. Remember, a letter in a mathematical expression represents a number. Can we replace g with any number? Yes, we can replace g with any number. So now we're going to choose a value for g and replace g with that number in the equation. So we're going to be using g equals 3. So now we can replace g with 3. So now our equation reads 3 times 1 equals 3. What do we observe? We can observe that any number multiplied by 1 is going to equal itself. So g times 1 equals g shows the multiplicative property of 1, and it shows that any number multiplied by 1 is going to be itself. Now we're going to talk about the commutative property of addition and multiplication. So we're going to be using the expressions 3 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3, and 3 times 4 is equal to 4 times 3. And we're going to start by replacing the 3's in both expressions with the letter A. So now our equations read a plus 4 is equal to 4 plus a, and a times 4 is equal to 4 times a. And now we're going to choose a value for a, and then we're going to replace that for a with a number that we have chosen. So we're going to be using a equals 2. So now we can substitute 2 in for a. So now our expressions read 2 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 2, and 2 times 4 equals 4 times 2. What can we observe about these expressions when we replace a with a number? The result is a true number sentence. Will all values of a result in a true number sentence? Yes, because any number, even 0, can be used to replace the variable a. Now let's take our equations and replace the number 4 with the letter b. So now our equations read a plus b is equal to b plus a, and a times b is equal to b times a. And will all values of A and B result in true number sentences for the first two equations? Mm -hmm. The simple answer is yes. We can replace both A and B with any number. So A plus B equals B plus A shows the commutative property of addition, which means that order does not matter when adding. And a times b equals b times a shows the commutative property of multiplication, which means that order does not matter when multiplying. And now we're going to be looking at one more example using addition to multiplication and then division. So the two expressions we're going to be using are 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 4 times 3 and 3 divided by 4 equals 3 over 4. So if we replace the 3's and the number sentences with the letter A, what are our expressions going to look like? So I have replaced all the 3's with the letter A, so our expressions now read A plus A 
plus a plus a equals 4 times a, and a divided by 4 is equal to a over 4. Now we're going to choose a value for a and replace a with that number. And we are going to be using a is equal to 2. So now our expressions read as 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 4 times 2, and 2 divided by 4 equals 2 over 4. Will all values of a result in a true number sentence? Yes, any number, even 0, can be used to replace the variable a. And so you can divide by 0 as long as the divisor is not equal to 0. The dividend can be 0, meaning that you could have 0 over 4, or 0 divided by 4. Now we are going to write the equations, and we're going to be replacing the number 4 with the letter B. So now our equations read as A plus A plus A plus A equals B times A, and A divided by B equals A over B. Will all values of A and B result in true number sentences for the equation? For the first equation, any number can be substituted for A, but only 4 can be substituted for B, as there are 4 copies of A. And for the second equation, any number can be substituted for A, and any number not equal to 0 can be substituted for B. Lesson summary. The additive property of 0 means that any number added to 0 is going to equal itself. Multiplicative property of 1. Any number multiplied by 1 is itself. Commutative property of addition. Order does not matter when adding. And commutative property of multiplication, order does not matter when multiplying. Now, go complete the problem set.